New testimony in Donald Trump's impeachment inquiry reveals the president was advised to play the race card when rapper ASAP Rocky was being detained in Sweden. Rocky was at the center of an international legal battle last summer when he was arrested after this brawl was captured on camera. According to reports, Trump was advised by a high-ranking official to let ASAP Rocky get sentenced cry racism, and then give him a ticker tape parade when he came home, all in an effort to boost the president's image with the black community. Here's a look back uh, at Trump's ASAP Rocky comment. is uh, a situation in Sweden. Sweden's a great country. Uh, they are friends of mine, uh, the leadership. Uh, and we are going to be calling. We'll be talking to him. We've already started. And uh, many, many members of the African-American community have called me, friends of mine, and said, could you help? So ASAP Rocky was found guilty of assault, but was not sentenced to time in prison. And the president was reportedly upset that the rapper did not publicly thank him for helping with his release. So, Nick, as the legal authority here, um, what does this new information mean for you? Oh, but this, this is a big one. Donald Trump, where do we start? All right. So first of all, let's be clear. ASAP Rocky was arrested for the brawl we saw on the screen uh, in Sweden, and some mysterious black folks called Donald Trump and said, get our boy out. I don't believe that for a minute. I think there were some folks in the White House who thought there may be some black folk on the fringe that we can get to support us by raising up this one particular uh, case. This is African-American over there, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> my African-American, we, like we said at a rally. Uh -huh. um, quite frankly, uh, it's disingenuous of, of Donald Trump, in my opinion, to be propping up a, a young black man who is uh, an entertainer and may have made a mistake um, to really try to pimp black folks. We are, by and large, the polls are very clear. We're not supportive of Donald Trump. And in terms of the impeachment, my question is, what else is going to come out besides ASAP Rocky and trying to go, go after the Bidens? Who mm -hmm. knows? Who knows? Well, Donald Trump says he did, in fact, assist ASAP Rocky mm -hmm. in his release. Mm -hmm. So do you think that this mm -hmm. has helped him with the black community? Absolutely not. And remember this. When ASAP came back to the U.S., what did he do? He didn't call Kellyanne Conway. He didn't call mm -hmm. Jared Kushner and say thanks. He came back and said nothing. Mm -hmm. Why? Who cares about Donald Trump? At the end of the day, who cares? Uh -huh. you, you know, it's a peculiar case. I think, you know, I love a good pun, but to rock the boat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, Donald, Donald Trump has, I mean, the, the numbers are very marginal. Let's be real. We can be honest, but they they're are. very small. Yeah. They are. But he does have a, a good little contingent of... Um, some uh, black American, that's why you can say things, my African American over here, my black so-and-so over there. There's a couple Ben Carsons and Omarosas that didn't skip over yet, you know? And I saw a young black gentleman with the MAGA hat down the street like a couple months ago, and he was serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the fire, I said, oh my God. And um, so I think we have to be careful in this in this moment um, because there are people who are seeing that whether or not they are, uh, you know, loud at these political tables or inclined, you know, it's not an, they may not even be voter voter franchise. They may be disenfranchised people, but they might see this image and see, you know, Donald Trump and his cachet. You know, he, he was in every rapper's music video 10 years ago. So let's not be. Mm -hmm. So shocked that people still hold the credibility. My little brother still has some Donald Trump ties mm -hmm. when it was a thing at Macy's. Like, wow. I mean, he doesn't wear them now, obviously. He probably threw them out. But that was actually a legitimate thing at one point. So we, should, we can't be discredit that. Mm -hmm. I think the, the larger question when it comes to Donald Trump and ASAP and black, you know, mm -hmm. black folks uh, by and large is, what is kind of the point? What is he doing for black folks writ large? And I don't want to just talk about mm -hmm. uh, prison and jails and arrests. There are housing issues. Mm -hmm. There are issues... Um, of educational equity. Yes, there are issues of, of, of mass incarceration. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, when it comes to black people and this president, he always goes to prison. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, what, thanks for working with Kim Kardashian and Kanye. He don't want to talk Kanye. about the housing issues. You know why he yeah, doesn't want to talk about the housing issues. Because him and his daddy right. had the housing issues with the, with the NYCHA back in the 70s right. or so, right? right. And the such and such. Mm -hmm. So we know we already know the long history, but that's always been the double say. See what I'm saying over here? Look, shiny African-Americans, I'm in your video. Oh, but I'm racially discriminating against you in this way. I'm not paying my bills on this right. end. I'm not doing so and so on that end. So, I mean, I think it's both end. Like, I would love to dismiss it, but I, I also don't want to get can't discount the people that are actually, you know, paying, paying right. some credibility. But clearly Trump has a problem connecting with the black community. Oh, you have any suggestions for him? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, 
oh, that was open ended. I had to think yeah. about how long I want to still be employed. Um, <laughs> I have to think about yeah. So, um, you know, this is nothing. You know, Donald Trump. Black people respect anybody that keeps it a hundred, right? You know, that's just the thing. And the, the problem is, and so unless he's gonna keep it a hundred, then I don't know what else to tell you, bro. Like we can we can smell the fake, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like if you're not gonna keep it real, like you know what I'm saying. Well, we. I don't know what else to tell you. You're not going to do that. I mean, this is impeachment happening right now. You're figuring out how to lie. Your code of silence is off. Your mm. game wasn't tight anyway. So I don't think he. I don't think he can flip it. I'm gonna be honest. Mm. <laughs> I agree with that. Okay, I was gonna ask you. Donald, beat me to it. Donald J. Trump has yeah. no hope when it comes to people of color. Just yeah. no hope. And let me let me stop that. I won't, I won't get yeah, too, no too crazy about it. No, 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 no tight rope. We ain't gonna walk in that tight rope. No. <laughs> Uh, well, they say hip-hop can help sell anything, but it doesn't seem to have worked for Donald Trump. And despite ASAP Rocky's legal troubles, he recently announced plans to return to Sweden and perform next month. I wouldn't go back, but that's just me. <laughs>